This week on the Computer Chronicles, cooking with your computer. We'll show you how to avoid the lines at the supermarket and do your grocery shopping online. We'll look at some great software for the chef that makes cookbooks seem old fashioned. We'll show you a website that makes it easy for you to prepare healthy meals with nutritious ingredients. And we'll give you a glimpse into the kitchen of the future, intelligent appliances. Plus my pick of the week, a new PDA you can wear on your wrist. It's all coming up next on the Computer Chronicles. The Computer Chronicles is brought to you by rondiamond.com, the oldies site on the internet. Music and memories from the 50s, 60s, and 70s, not just another jukebox. Additional support comes from the law offices of Ivan Hoffman, lawyering with integrity for internet law, copyright, trademark, and other intellectual property law. And by TechWeb for up-to-the-minute technology news. Hi, and welcome to the Computer Chronicles. I'm Stuart Schaffe. Well, cooking shows seem to be popular on TV these days, so we thought we'd do a cooking show today and tell you about the ways you can actually use your computer in the kitchen. You know, it almost became a joke in the mid-80s when computer companies claimed that people would buy a PC so they could store their recipes. No one ever did that. But as computers become less expensive and move into every room of the home, the PC has really now become a very useful tool for the chef. One way you can use your computer is to log on to the net and go shopping for your groceries online. Here to show us how to do that is Amy Nobley of Webvan. So no more lines in the supermarket, dealing with all those obnoxious people, I can do it on the web. Well, it's exciting because now people everywhere can kind of log on to webvan.com and uh, go shopping down the virtual aisles. All right, let's show people how to do this because, you know, people are nervous. You know, grocery shopping is a very tactical, personal kind of experience. So where do we start? This is your homepage? This is our homepage. Um, and this really gives a preview of all the different virtual sort of categories that we have. So these are the sections of the supermarket, if, if you will. Exactly. Everything from fruit to wines to post-it notes. All right, so how do I begin the process? I mean, can I sort of walk through the aisles with my cart like I would in a real supermarket? You sure can. Um, you can go ahead and walk through the aisles. And let's say you choose so uh, some produce. So we're in the produce, produce section right now. And you choose lettuce. Um, so what our site, Webvan, is going to do is sort of take you through all the different categories of lettuce. So you can really see nice them. You pictures. can click on to make the photos larger. All right, so larger. we have the price there, and we have the different kinds. Do I assume you have all of this there, that if I order it, you're going to have it? We will have it unless it says otherwise. Oh, okay. Uh, now suppose I, I don't know where stuff is in the store. I say, hey, I'm looking for something in particular, and sure. I don't want to go cruising through all the aisles. Sure. Um, I'm searching for some jam. Absolutely. A lot of our customers like to search um, via this function where okay. you just sort of put in what you're looking for, press the button, and it comes so right you got up. You've the pictures of little bottles because that's how I buy it. I recognize what the jar <laughs> looks like. Absolutely. Absolutely. So here you looked for jelly, and uh, here a whole selection popped up. We looked okay. for strawberry, and here you go. So in a, like in any other online shopping thing, I just click, fill up my shopping cart, et cetera? Absolutely. All right, so just go through that process just so we see what that looks sure, like. Sure, absolutely. You can go up and down the virtual aisles and sort of put um, the different items in your shopping cart. Mm -hmm. And at any time, you can kind of go back and see what's in your cart and take a look, make sure everything looks right. Gives you a subtotal at any given time. Uh, and then you can take a look at the payment once you're done. Okay, so I know what's going on. Now, what about the delivery situation? How do I know when I'm going to get this stuff? Well, webvan.com offers a half-hour delivery window of your choice. Okay. So How far ahead? Basically, if you order real early in the morning, you might have a shot at getting the order that day, but more than likely it'll be for the day next day. Okay, mm -hmm. So I've got to plan ahead a little bit. So what you want so to do is... I go ahead and say, here's when I want it? Absolutely. Schedule your delivery. Okay. Uh, just take a look. You guys are better than the cable companies, right? <laughs> You just uh, take a look and uh, pick that half-hour window of your choice. Okay. And boom. Now, do I have to be there when the guy shows up? Um, for, in most cases, you want to be there. In some cases, if you're not able to be there, go bad. exactly. If it's just uh, ambient product that okay. you won't have to be there for, then no problem. Now, what about this whole issue? You know, when you shop for vegetables and fruit, I mean, you want to look at it and feel it. You know, you see these people playing around with the stuff. How do I know I'm getting the kinds of stuff I like when it comes to fresh products? Absolutely. We get asked that a lot. And as a matter of fact, we make a point of working with 
high quality local suppliers mm -hmm. that actually supply to some of the best restaurants in the area. But can I say I like my bananas green or I like my apples this way or something? You sure can. If you go to the banana section, you'll see there's four or five different choices if you like them green, you if you them? like okay, them ripe. Okay. Um, so we try to give the customer a wide range of choices just like you would find it at okay. a shopping market. What about the things you routinely buy every week? Right, every week you're going to get the milk and the bread and the this. Can you set up like an automated list? Absolutely. Um, the weekly shopping lists are very popular, uh, and that is something that a lot of our folks use. Um, for instance, this is my list, and okay. these are this my weekly items. This is sort of the default items. junk I'm going to get every, every third week. Absolutely. So that you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time. Gotcha. One of our customers has a 10-year-old girl who likes to every week put her own little list together of all, right. all kinds of fun things. So you can go ahead and make as now, suppose I have a question. I'm not sure. I can't find something. Normally, I'd call over a clerk and say, hey, where's this? Or what do you think? What do I do then? Absolutely. Webvan's customer service um, offers a couple of different ways to ask questions. One, you can actually click on and chat live with a customer service Real-time, real, real person. Real-time, real okay. person, which is really exciting. And then the other way is to call our 800 line, yeah. and you can get that customer service professional. What happens? I mean, a lot of shopping is impulse buys. You didn't know you wanted it, but you're walking down the aisle and you see it. Is it the opportunity to just sort of stumble across things here? Absolutely. Um, a lot of our customers like to just take their time and go through each aisle. For instance, um, we're always adding things. So stamps might be there, or Calphalon, uh -huh. or um, a lot of different sort of pet products. Okay. So well, that stuff is right by the cash register there, right? <laughs> that you didn't really want to buy. Yeah, our customers. Uh, how about the cost? Is it comparable to walking into the Safeway or whatever? Um, the cost at, of shopping at webvan.com is going to be at or below the cost okay. of a supermarket. Doesn't cost any premium. No, mm -mm. Yeah. no tipping is allowed, and actually for orders of fifty dollars mm -hmm. and less, um, there's a four dollar and ninety five charge, but all other orders okay. are free. I'll try it. Thank okay. you very much. Great. All right, having bought the food, now it's time to make the meal. And while cookbooks are pretty good, in fact, using recipe software is a lot better. Here to show us a program called Master Cook 5.0, in fact, a couple of cooking programs, yeah. is Kelly Stanmore of Sierra. Hi, Kelly. Hi. All right, so uh, let's say I've gone shopping, and now I've got to go make the meal. Some people are coming for dinner tonight, right. and I don't know too much about this. I've got your software. Let's go through that process. Uh, what do I do first? I say I want to prepare a meal. I have to decide what meal I want to make. I what think. do you want to make it with? Okay. What are my choices, by the way? I mean, what, what resources are in here? How do I know who I'm... Who's giving me the information on these this recipes? This version is called Master Cook Food and Wine from Sierra Home. It has a thousand recipes from the editors at Food and Wine Magazine. Okay. Plus also some wine suggestions for those of us who okay. need a little help. So all these other boxes are different collections of recipes. They is are. That the idea? Whether you're looking for Betty Crocker recipes or Cooking okay. Light Magazine. All right. So let's say I've got some people coming tonight. I know they like Indian food, so I'd like mm -hmm. to prepare a curry, but I don't have a clue as to where to begin. Yum. So what do I do? Well, you can go through and browse um, through the cookbook collections if you'd like, or else there's also search function. Mm -hmm. um, here's a beef curry okay. that looks pretty good. So I just click on it and there are the ingredients There I are the need. ingredients. Here are the instructions. The bottom of the instructions are now. It looks, looks pretty simple from that. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Over here is their wine recommendation. They recommend a California Syrah. So that's what we have over okay. here. Okay. So that would be, now, now a couple of questions. Suppose this says for six people, I only have four people coming over for dinner now. Can I recalculate the... Yes, the Master Cook makes it very easy. You just click a button and say, I want six so four people. people. It says six, I want four. You want four? Yeah, can you do that? You can say four. There you go. Four okay, people. change all the ingredients for yes, me. Yes, absolutely. Now suppose I happen to know I've pulled down a recipe from mm -hmm. some website for a curry, which I happen to like, and I want to bring that into your system so it'll do the same stuff. Can I do that? Yes, a lot of people are taking recipes off the web these days. It's very popular. So here we would just highlight the recipe mm -hmm. and go into Master Cook's import. So you're just assistance. going to copy and paste it into there? Copy and paste. Uh -huh. It's very, very simple. Paste it in. And it sort of puts it into it, your little. It can autofill. Sort of spreadsheet format there. There it goes. Now, I need to know, let's say I really haven't bought the stuff yet yeah. from Webvan. Say I'm just going to old-fashioned go to the supermarket mm -hmm. and buy the stuff. Will it generate a shopping list for me? Of course. Here we would just go in and say we need to add it to our shopping list. Oh, we're still working on the chowder recipe here. <laughs> okay, the one I imported. Yes. Then you go into your uh, chowder. Here's your shopping list, okay, and it tells you. that's the stuff I ought to go out and buy mm -hmm. right now. Here's, and it also reminds you which recipe you selected yeah. for each one. Let's go back to the wine for a second, mm -hmm. and you were very nice to bring the wine. It yes. recommended there, actually. We'll have to try this later. Yes. Uh, suppose I want to know more about the wine. Like, my guests are going to ask me, where'd you get the wine, blah, blah, blah. Can I get background information? Yes, absolutely. Of course, the food and wine editors make this very easy for us. We can go in here and look at any region, any type of wine. Here we're looking at the California wine region. Mm -hmm. It can tell you which wines are popular there and 
what to expect from okay. each of those. Now, uh, for the novice, I don't know a lot of this stuff. So suppose I wanted to make a shrimp curry. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know how you like rip apart the shrimp and de-vein it and all that stuff. Is there online helps for me here? MasterCook includes lots of tips and you can link them directly into your recipe. So here's a tip for de-veining shrimp if you wanted to make shrimp curry instead of beef. Okay. Oh, so this is a whole little video clip. It's a whole little video oh, cool. showing you exactly how to do Pull it. Pull away the shell by grasping near the legs and roll it back around the shrimp. Uh, now, while I've got you, I've got to ask you another one. Mm -hmm. Carving the turkey, you know, carving a chicken. Suppose I want to do chicken curry. Hey, do you have advice it's on that? It's a mystery to a lot of people. Yes, same thing. You would go in and into any recipe, you can pull up the tips. Okay. So I said carving There's chicken. There's one for carving yeah. chicken. That's going to show the whole There's horrible process of how you... There's 1,200 tips included in this, so you pretty let's much let's can Let's watch find. this for a second. To carve a roasted chicken, first remove the trussing. Now let's Place stop before the bird the score. on a clean <laughs> <surface>. <laughs> Okay. You can get uh, pretty bloody. Another feature you have in here, I think, which would be very useful, you, you don't have time to go shopping. All of a sudden, you know, hey, you got to make dinner for somebody in a couple hours. Yes. What do I have in the house, and what cool could I make with that? Do you have a, a solution to that problem? We do. We actually have a what can I make button in the pantry section for every bachelor who doesn't want to go to the grocery store yeah. or anyone else, doesn't have a lot of time. You can actually hit the what, what can, can you I make with beer and hot dogs. Huh? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Not a lot. And potato chips. Beer and hot dogs. <laughs> right. And then you can select the, the cookbooks you want it to look through. All right, so it'll go into the cookbook and find a recipe that'll work with what I currently yes, have. Yes, it'll search through those and tell you what you can make with the ingredients that you already have. Uh -huh. so. now, now, what does it cost for this kind of sauce? Food and wine, uh, MasterCook food and wine retails for $49, mm -hmm. and different variations are anywhere down to $20 or less. Yeah, and is this really for um, cooking for dummies, or is it for the, the expert chef? It's for anyone. I can use it. I'm pretty much a cooking for dummy. <laughs> okay. But um, also the culinary institutions use really? this a lot. Yes. All right, thank you so much, Kelly. Thank you. All right, coming up next, we'll get some nutrition advice online to make sure we're preparing a healthy meal. So don't go away. We'll be right back. Everyone is health conscious these days, so when it comes to eating and preparing a meal, we want to avoid the bad stuff, eat plenty of the good stuff. How do you do that? Log on to the net, of course. Here to show us a very good nutrition site is Timmy Gustafson, co-founder of CyberDiet.com. Hi, Timmy. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here's your site up here, and we've been working on a meal throughout the course of the show, and I'm ready for dessert right now, so I want to plan a dessert for my okay. guests, but I don't want them to yell at me that I've given them some unhealthy fatful kind of thing. Right. How would I use your site to plan a healthy dessert? Well, this is what we're all about, helping our visitors learn to adopt a healthier lifestyle. So if we go to the dessert index. Okay. So it says, show me healthy desserts. Right. All right. So I have all those choices. Huh? You have all of these choices. Well, I'm smelling these delicious chocolate chip cookies you brought right. here. So let's go to chocolate chip cookies and see what would happen if I serve my guests chocolate chip all right. cookies. So here it gives you the prep you time, how to make it the ingredients, the method, and everything okay, else. Okay, so there's and the, the nutrition information. The nutrition information and the carbohydrate and exchanges. All right, now let's go backwards a bit so I have some context. Let's say I'm, I'm personally planning my own diet, and I want to limit myself to 2,000 calories a day, and I want to see what I should be eating in terms of dessert and everything else. Right. How, could I set that up inside Cyber Absolutely. Diet? We have a program called the Daily Food Planner, and this is our most frequented page. So up here, it gives you a choice of breakfast, lunch, right, dinner, so we've set it for 2,000 calories, it right. says up there. And then we have 300, 4, 5, 600. It's mix and match. Okay, so, so. I'm going to plan a breakfast right now, okay. and I have to tell how many calories I want to spend on breakfast. All right. All right, mm -hmm. you tell me. What should I do? Well, 500, 300. What do you... Well, let's say you 300. We'll, we'll, okay. we'll, we'll start Okay, so here. you start here, and then you have these the list here of options. So have you seen anything you like? Oh, well, blueberry... Waffles, waffle, this absolutely. One here. Blueberry. So well, we'll only choose 300 one of calories, those. that's a done deal. All right, and you can see that it's All right, so I spent my calories, so I have 1692 left to go. Right, All right so, so let's, let's move work on, on to lunch. And I'm how about, good so what do we want here? For 500 maybe? Okay, sure. 600? I got plenty to go. 600, 600 what the heck? I got what the heck? Right. Spend. So you refresh the screen, and then you scroll okay, down so until you find something that looks appealing to you. Do you see anything here? How about a club sandwich? Okay, with a salad. So let's pick one of those. All right, so let's subtract this. So, so you've got 1,400 to spend for dinner. Okay, well, you're let's not go going to... Uh, let's go find dinner then. Okay. And 600 plus. Absolutely. And these are my choices. These are your choices. Okay. And do you see anything? Well, i got a lot to spend, so I, I, let's get something with a lot of calories. Okay. So we'll keep going. Well, 699. Well, chicken, chicken with potato, potato pancakes, pancakes. And that sounds very good. Okay. So I would choose that for my meal. 
and now you're down. And to I still seven. have 700 calories to spend. Right. Well, so you've how about got, junk you, food? You haven't had beverages. You haven't well, had snacks. Well, let's go snacks. snacks. Okay. And, uh, now, how much junk can I afford to eat that day and still stay under my 2,000? Well, we want to make sure you have got a balanced diet here. Oops. Uh, I yeah, beverages. no, I want snacks. Want I snacks. the beverages. Snacks, snacks, snacks. Yeah, give me snacks. <laughs> so what so type of snacks would you like? Uh, You've got well, let's snacks. go sweet snacks. Let's do it. You know, sweet snacks, right there. there you go. go. I don't want healthy stuff. There's a reflection on the screen. I'm having hard to yeah, go. So you've got. Okay. What do you want? You've got well, cookies. Keep on going, do you want keep cookies? On going. Cookies. Uh, you got oh, prunes. How about prunes? Oh dear. <laughs> Not my <laughs> first choice. Raisin. How about cookies? All right, let's do the cookies again. Yeah, a ginger snaps. That looks pretty evil there. So okay. if we pick ginger. Well, let's take three of them. Okay. So I can have three ginger snaps, and I'm still under my diet there. We're still under your seat. Said, but you haven't had anything good. to drink yet. So let's no, just well, okay, say, that would be for drinks. Let's just say you've finished it. You go here, and it will tell you what you've had for the day. And then as you scroll down, Great. you'll see that you have a comprehensive shopping list at the bottom here that you can just tear off, go okay, to the Okay, now can I actually plan uh, not just the day, but suppose I want to lose weight. Mm -hmm. And so I want a, you know, a two-week, a one-month plan or something. Do you have that kind of and thing? And you want also? more structure. Yeah. All right. Let's go to succeed. This is our 12-week meal plans. These are very, you have 16 different options that you can scroll through. And then you can choose the calorie range. So, so I can set up the whole diet bit here also. Absolutely. Uh, before we run out of time, one other thing you have in here is really cool, which is the fast food sort of oh, plan, yeah. right? Because we don't all spend time at home eating, you know, making all these healthy meals. We run out to Burger King and McDonald's, et cetera. Ex and I want to say, what's the least bad of those choices? All right, so let's go to the fast food place. Now, we have 35 different restaurants listed okay. here. So, and so if I, I want to choose between a Burger King and, and a Carl's Jr., which right. are right across the street from each other, which is and, the best? And you want to choose a hamburger, Let's, yeah, right? I'm going to buy a hamburger like you that. Choose a hamburger. You scroll down to the bottom here. And what do you want here? Do you want it sorted by restaurant, by calories? What are you trying to watch? Oh, uh, I don't know. The calories? What's that calories. with calories? Okay, let's go calories. Yeah, well, and you hit Which result. hamburger has the fewest calories? All right. And we've done all the calculations. Yep. And the okay, page so loads, and you have... So Burger King would have been 320 for my hamburger, and so Carl's would have been 330. Right, it's from the lowest to the highest. Yeah. So if you had... Um, so basic hamburger, I'm better off... 320, 15 grams of fat, etc. So go down to the so worst. Let's see what the really little, bad case Well, the really bad one would be... The, whop, the double whopper. Double whopper, 1,010 that's calories. A, that's going to kill my whole thing for the day. And, and that's without French Last fries. Last question real quick, Timmy. You've got a Palm 7 here. I can access mm -hmm. information on a Palm 7? You can... We absolutely. We have eight of our applications on the Palm Seven, including so the fast even food out quest. there at the restaurant, I just so you can be in line go. tapping in and That's deciding great. what's the best choice. Cyberdiet.com. Cyberdiet.com. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, you've probably seen that TV commercial where the refrigerator repairman shows up to fix the fridge, even though no one has called him yet. Well, we are entering this era of intelligent kitchen appliances. Here to show us some of the high-tech options for the kitchen of the future is Vince Vasquez of Sun Microsystems. Hi, Vince. Hello. All right, you got a couple cool gadgets here, and let's start out. What is this thing we're looking at? This is what we call a web pad. It's a wireless device, very different than a PC. Huh. See, we can pick it up. If you look at today, we deliver services into the home via PC. It's very complicated. My mother doesn't know how to work right. a PC. So this is non-PC based? Non-PC based. It's actually running Linux, but it could be running a number of different operating systems. All right, now you're running Linux, so let's explain sort of the whole system here. What do you, you have a little home network set up, is that the idea? We do have a home a network. A Linux-based network? Yes, we have a, a home gateway. Uh, this is from a box from Cisco. Okay. Um, it's going to allow us to bring connectivity from the outside, say over DSL or cable, uh -huh. into our networks in the home. And inside the home, I'm networked using what? We have a number of options there. We could be doing power lines, okay, so your so regular plugs. Lines, gotcha. We could be doing wireless. In fact, this is wireless here. All right, now how would I use this? Could this be like on my refrigerator door or just sitting on the kitchen counter? Absolutely. In fact, Whirlpool, this is a Whirlpool product, uh -huh. shows it as putting going right into the refrigerator door, although you don't so need to. So this would be the sort of web fridge we've heard about of the future. Right? Yes, but because it's wireless, you can take it off of the refrigerator. And just carry it around. Put yeah. it right by the oven and do your cooking. All right, let's see what we can do with this, Vince. Like, it says appliances. What happens if I... I touch it. This is a touchpad too, right? So no keyboard. It's touchpad. There is a keyboard available, but we but think you don't need it. it's a little bit so easier if I go just to, to touch the buttons. Now what can I do? In this case, we have a few network appliances available. We have a dishwasher, a refrigerator, and a coffee maker. So I can actually operate these appliances from this web pad? Absolutely. You could go, for example, to the dishwasher and operate and it here. there's all my controls by remote. Huh. And in fact, if the dishwasher was having problems, it could tell you via the web pad that it's having certain problems. It could communicate right. that to the manufacturer so oh. they can actually do diagnostics. So we're going to go back. Same idea with the fridge then, if I clicked on fridge there? Uh, well, actually, the refrigerator and the coffee maker as well. So here we could 
operate the coffee maker. So you have a coffee maker over there. So theoretically, I could set this up automatically, turn on my coffee pot at a certain time, turn it off, and do all that stuff. Absolutely. Not only that, you could be talking to an alarm clock, and so when the alarm clock turns on in the morning, it could automatically turn on your coffee maker for you. Now, you have a little scanner over there. Explain what I would do with that. Absolutely. Well, you may want to have a shopping list. Today, if you want to buy things over the web, you type things into a shopping list. Yeah. It's a little cumbersome. You have to bring a PC up. Uh, uh, something that's very easy to use. If you so can this is for real. If I, I, I have stuff at home and I say, hey, I just used up this can, I would just go scan it? You would just simply go connect, and it'd be in your shopping list. All right. And I, my cereal, whatever. I just find the barcode here. Let's see right. do this again. For example, let's say that you... Uh, just finish the box of uh, cereal. You're about ready to throw it away. You might scan it. So on the way to the list. trash can, just scan everything automatically. Here's my shopping list. Absolutely. Press the button, the web van, done deal. Ni nice thing about having an electronic shopping list is it could go automatically to a web van or a streamline.com. Uh, let me ask you a couple of things about all this stuff. It's very cool, obviously. I mean, it sounds it seems like it's going to cost a lot of money to sort of get this high-tech kitchen. Any, I mean, is this a product yet, or is this a concept? Well, Whirlpool talks about this product being available for Christmas 2000. Really? Yeah, and an interesting idea here is the whole advertising model. If you think about it now, if I have a shopping list, for example, people could offer me coupons directly to the products uh -huh. in my shopping list. And so there's a, a business motivation right. to perhaps subsidize these types of All right, of so say on recipes over there. If I click on recipes, I, I'm, I'm logging onto a website to get recipes? This recipe is provided by Food Network. Uh -huh. And so, for example, you may have a service from Food Network to get the recipes. Here we have a recipe of the day. And so you can actually see this particular bit, a recipe. You could select items and put them automatically into your shopping list. Mm -hmm. uh, if I could get that there. Yeah. And theoretically, I see you have other sort of kind of PDA-ish functions down there. I could run a calendar on this. This is my kitchen appliance home utility Absolutely. Workstation. Any type of service you'd want to deliver in the home, such as a calendar, uh, you may have a community with your with your uh, teachers. Yeah, uh, a number of, of people. And, and the network notion, the sort of network kitchen. I mean, how real is that? Is that part of what Whirlpool is going to do to have the coffee pot in the fridge and the dishwasher really tied together? Well, different manufacturers are going to have products that actually talk to the network. Stream uh, Sunbeam, for example, has the coffee makers that are going to be networked. Whirlpool, a number of people. The home gateways are going to be networked. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why we work with, for example, Sears, where they could roll the truck right. in and set up whatever you need to be set up. Is there any evidence? I, I assume you. Got guys have done research that people actually want this stuff? I mean, they're going to use things like this in the kitchen? Well, I don't know. I, I, my best research is my mom. And <laughs> my mom says she, she forgets her, she loses the recipes. Yeah. She wants, she, she watches Food Network. She uh. wants to actually see the videotape there at, at that moment. And so these types of soft services are something that should be very yeah. interesting. In. Vince, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, that's our look at cooking with your PC or with Linux, as the case may be. I'll be back in just a moment with my pick of the week, a new TVA you can wear on your wrist. Don't go away. Now for my pick of the week. I really love my little Palm device here, and like millions of other Palm users, these gadgets have become a key part of the way I manage my day. But there are times when you quickly need to look up a phone number or check on an appointment, and it's a pain to open up your briefcase, take out the pilot, turn it on, pull out the pen, etc. And there are times when you don't have the pilot with you, but one thing you almost always have with you is your watch. Because of that, for years I've used one of these Timex Datalink watches as a handy way to carry around key bits of information. But that means keeping a separate contact list, and it's not very easy, frankly, to manage and update it. Now, though, Casio has come out with the best version of a data watch called the PC Unite. This is really a PDA on your wrist. And the nice thing is it syncs up with Microsoft Outlook or your Palm Pilot or several other PDAs and PIMs. And it uses a standard infrared communications link, so it's very easy to send data to the watch from your PC or your laptop or your Palm Pilot. In fact, these watches can beam to each other, so you can pass business cards just by pointing and sending. The PC Unite has all the standard watch functions, of course, plus the usual PDA functions. It has a calendar or schedule mode, a contact list with room for four separate phone numbers, plus email address. It has a to-do list, and it also has a browser mode that lets you carry around up to 1,500 words of text files, kind of like the Palm's memo pad. The easiest way to input data into the watch is just to sync up with your PC through the IR port, but you can enter data directly from the watch if you're really desperate. 
Setup is not so easy for this watch, but once you have it going, it is a very convenient way to carry around lots of key data right on your wrist. And the good news is it only costs about $100. It's called the PC Unite watch from Casio. It comes bundled with the syncing software and the IR syncing port. That's it for this edition of the Computer Chronicles. Thanks for joining us. If you need any more information about anything you saw, please check out our website. That's it for this week. I hope we'll see you here next time. The Computer Chronicles is brought to you by rondiamond.com, the oldies site on the internet. Music and memories from the 50s, 60s, and 70s, not just another jukebox. Additional support comes from the law offices of Ivan Hoffman, lawyering with integrity for internet law, copyright, trademark, and other intellectual property law. And by TechWeb for up-to-the-minute technology news. To purchase a videotape copy of today's program, call toll-free 1-888-310-7850. Please specify the show number and the topic.